This is Gypsy with a fun and fairly simple doll customizing tutorial for you. Recently, I have found my doll collection has become saturated with smiling dolls who have a lot of teeth showing. I have this personal pet peeve that causes me to avoid handling dolls that are smiling way too much. I feel like I can't get a range of emotion out of these kinds of dolls, so I end up using them as body donors and not much more. Maybe you have the same problem where you like a doll's face but you'd love to see them close their mouth for a change. I decided to do this with my made to move yellow top and especially with my Nikki dolls. Ugh, I can't stand Nikki's extra large smile. So I'm going to show you what I did to go from smiley Nikki to sweet grin Nikki and how you can achieve this look for any of your other dolls that are showing their teeth. Warning, if you're a child, you need to ask your parent to help you with this. Here's what you need to get started. First, you need a sharp cutting object. I'm using this razor, but you can use whatever kind you want. Some kind of razor with a pointed end should work fine. You need super glue gel control, not liquid. I already tried this with other glues and it did not work. So if you want to experiment, go right ahead. But I found this gel super glue at Walmart for $3 and this works best. You can use clear nail polish or gloss Mod Podge as well, but this step is optional. You also need some acrylic paint in the shade of the lipstick that you want or anything else like these ink pencils that you like to color your doll's faces with. You can also use 100% acetone nail polish remover, but this part is totally optional for you. And I'll show you what you can do with it if you do choose to use it. If you're going to do any kind of painting on this doll, you will want to use some acetone because it will help you to cover up mistakes. Now, you need a doll to experiment on, of course. I will use this Nikki because she's got a big old head. The vinyl is already soft, but if it's easier for you to heat the head before doing this, you can go ahead. I'm not going to do that because I'm lazy and I don't really need to. Also, if you're a little more experienced with repaints, you can remove the factory paint before you start this. That's where acetone would come in, but I suggest you leave the paint on because it will help you to see the teeth clearly and that will serve as a guide for you to follow. So here's what we're going to do first. We're going to make a small incision into her teeth as if you're poking a dot into her teeth with the razor's tip. You don't want to get too close to the edges of her lips because then she'll end up with a joker's grin. Use the razor to cut dots along the top edge and just keep poking until you get all the way across. As I'm doing this, I have a lamp spotlighting my work area and I'm wearing magnifying goggles because my eyesight is horrible. <laughs> but if you have good eyesight and good lighting, you should be able to do this just fine. Keep going until you've got the top done and the bottom. We've poked holes onto the top and bottom rows of the teeth just under her lips. Carefully slice across the holes as if you are playing connect the dot. Later, once you've become more experienced, you can actually just skip to this next step and save time. This is very dangerous. You need to use some pressure to slice through the holes, but if you're careful, it will be fine. I can actually poke my razor through her mouth now. I will work my way across until I've sliced her teeth completely out of her mouth. Some of her lip paint will chip as I do this, but I'll show you how to fix that later. When you squeeze her cheeks, it makes her lips protrude so you can see your progress. You'll be able to do this much easier if you do squeeze her head while you're working the razor across. Now we are almost done. This is really the hardest part of the process, but I promise if you take your time and do it slowly the first time, get the hang of it, you'll whiz through this so quickly on your next group of dolls. Don't worry, she won't miss these teeth. She'll be aight. Both top and bottom parts of the teeth are separated and I just need to work the edges to remove them totally. It's okay if you make mistakes, you're just experimenting. Keep going anyway until you finish the entire process so you can see where you need to make adjustments when you're ready to do this on your good dolls. Now, I'm gently scraping the vinyl until her teeth are removed. She has a big gap in her mouth and you can squeeze it to see how the inside of her lips look. We're gonna close this gap. Okay, so now Crackhead Nikki is ready for the nail polish remover if you wanna get rid of the lipstick and repaint it from scratch. If you're not into all of that, you don't have to do that just yet. At this point, we need to open her mouth and get a bit of super glue in there. You might wanna use a toothpick to put the glue on so it's more accurate. You only need a tiny bit, but the brown part of her mouth is where we need to get the glue. So squish her head on the sides and you control the glue by pushing the blue tabs on the sides of this bottle. 
The glue dries in 10 seconds. Okay, you're gonna squeeze her head until her lips are touching. Take a toothpick and scrape the glue from her lips. You can use whatever you want to do this, but you have to do it fast so it doesn't leave a residue. Now, when you squeeze her head, hold her chin and nose to get the best control. The head should probably be held for about 60 seconds because you want to be sure the glue is dry enough to hold her mouth closed when the vinyl reverts to its original state as you let go. I just wanted to point out that what I'm showing you here is way too much glue for the inside of her mouth. I thought because she had a big mouth I would need more glue, but you really don't. You'll need a tiny little dab, so don't put as much glue as you see me putting on here and you should be fine. I suggest that you watch TV or maybe even this video as you do this because it'll be boring just holding her head as you work. So this is a good time to listen to some music or a TV show to make the time pass. Once you get used to it, it takes no time at all to bang out like 10 dolls back to back. Alright, I've been squishing her face like a troll for one minute. Now, I'm gonna let go slowly and you can see that her lips have fused together. I've definitely used way too much glue on this doll so some of it has seeped through the crack between her two lips. But you only need to use a tiny tiny bit when you do this. Less is more. Now, I could leave her alone, and technically I'm done, but if you want to spruce up her lips a bit, you'll need to touch up the lipstick. With this doll, for example, I didn't actually remove any of the original lipstick, I just painted over it. So here's what I did. I just added some color with my favorite supplies, and guys, I usually paint with a paintbrush and do subtle layers when I do my repaint, so you're not going to see me doing that here. I'm just doing a rush job for the sake of this video, but I wanted to give you an idea of how you can fix up the lips. You can even paint them in a totally different shape if you want. So once I finish with this step off camera, I'm going to do this doll's lips from scratch and I'll show you how that turned out. I have never filmed myself customizing dolls this way, so I wasn't really used to it yet. So I didn't really do my best work here, but this is just to give you an idea of what to do. Alright, now Crackhead Nikki has her lips closed and that's the most important part. We're gonna keep going until we get her lips just right. This is probably the most time consuming part of the process. So if you're okay with a simple paint job or if you don't mind the original paint on her lips already, you're basically finished. Boy, it feels like I'm doing so much more work than needed and rushing through this on camera was making it take a lot longer than necessary. That's why I just sped this part up. But I'll show you guys all the other dolls I did during this plastic surgery session and I promise it turned out really great. Alright, at the end of the painting job, I'm going to take either some Mod Podge or a bit of nail polish to create sealer, which will set her lips and let it dry so we can play with her. I decided to use nail polish because it makes the lips smooth, just like it does your nails, and it doesn't attract dust and it's waterproof. Also, the nail polish will allow her to have a nice gloss when we're done. Not to mention, you can just remove it later with nail polish remover if you decide you don't like it. Okay, so you can see there are some blemishes. But most of the glue residue was camouflage, and there is a big difference from before. Okay, so now Miss Nikki is done, I'm going to stop calling her Crackhead Nikki because she doesn't look like a crackhead anymore. And here's the difference between the two Nikki's. It's really simple, and you can do this for pretty much any doll with teeth. I'll be doing this for all my other girls, including my made to move yellow top doll. They don't have as big of a smile as Nikki, so it should take way less time to remove their teeth and do this. Now for Raquel, I'm going to show you real quick how I removed the paint after I cut the teeth out. This is what you can do if you want to do a fresh repaint. Don't get your acetone all over her face or the paint will erase from other parts of her head. Also, don't spill it all over her body because you will ruin the plastic. So, you have to be very precise when you're using acetone to remove the color from the lips. Use a q-tip and just be very careful. Now her lips have been closed, I only used a little tiny smudge of glue for her and you can see none of it has seeped out in the middle. You can keep a very natural look for your doll if you just tint her lips lightly or gloss it without lipstick. That's up to you too. Okay, I want to show you guys Steven here. He's always bothered me with his disturbing toothy grin like, dude, that's creepy. Relax, mister. So, I was really excited to try this on him because I would love to use him in my stories, but I really hate his huge smile. Now, I'm going to remove his teeth by skipping the step I showed you where I made tiny incisions and then cut across. 
I'm just gonna slice until the teeth come out and this will make the process much faster but it's a bit more advanced so keep practicing until you can do this. This method actually helps you to have a cleaner cut without jagged pieces. I'll be removing his lip color as well because Mattel seems to like painting their male dolls as if they have on lipstick or something and I don't think it looks right. Here he is with his lips closed but I'll show you how he turned out with his lips tinted slightly later on. I think he looks way better now. Alright, we're all done. Here's the Nikki we started with. She still has her teeth showing. And here is new and improved Nikki with a closed smile to compare her to. I customized her further with baby hair because she had a giant forehead. And I can see the resemblance between her and Grace now. Here's the other Nikki, the one I demonstrated with. I also gave her baby hairs and new eye makeup. I outlined her eyes so she looks like she's wearing eyeliner. I did do her lips over by removing all the paint and repainting it. Here are Raquel and Teresa with their closed lips. I can always remove the paint and do it over if I decide to change it. So that's something to keep in mind if you didn't do a good job or if you don't like how something turned out. You can always go back and fix your mistake with this process. Here's Steven with his lips slightly shaded and I think he looks really cool. And there in the background is Darwin. I think I want to do this with him as well. Here's my made to move yellow tops and I tried it out on one. I also ended up doing this on the other one later on because I noticed that her hair is a little bit longer and that's the one that I'm going to use for my characters. But for now I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the two open and closed mouths. Even though the lips were closed, her face shape didn't change. On the doll whose mouth I closed, I did shade her lips in a little bit to give her some depth. But I didn't really have to repaint them at all because they still turned out fine. So I hope you guys decide to try this and help your dolls to relax their faces a little. I personally could not find one tutorial online or on YouTube and I was really aggravated so I tried it out on my own. I gotta give kudos to my genius husband for suggesting that I use super glue as he watched me struggling with every other kind of glue in my stash. It totally worked and I just had to share this with you guys because I was going nuts trying to figure out how to do this on my own. And once I did, I figured I gotta make everyone else's lives easier by posting this tutorial to help them save some time. So I hope that it helped you and leave a comment if it did. Also like this video if you think it's something you can try out at home. Share some pictures on Instagram and don't forget to hashtag it with Broken Barbie TV so I can find your post. All right. I gotta go because I have so many more videos to edit for you guys, so have a dolly day!